please stop talking now. And make sure your phones are on Do Not Disturb. Welcome back, everybody. We've already heard such insightful thoughts, but there's so much more to come. Starting out with Simrata Parachuri from grade nine of the International School of Hyderabad, who explores AI-generated videos and images that can make anyone appear to say or do things that they never did. Unlocking great creative potential, but also posing serious risks of misinformation, fraud, and reputational harm. What if I told you that everything you see online could be a lie? That the face on your screen, the voice you're hearing right now, might not be real at all? Hi, I'm Samrita Parachuri, and the video you just saw was a deep fake. Today, I'm going to be talking about this interesting technology. Deep fakes rely on artificial intelligence, specifically machine learning. And it analyzes audio patterns, speech patterns, and emotion to generate authentic content. With advancements in AI, deepfakes are becoming more convincing and harder to detect every single day. The first time I saw a deepfake, I had no idea what I was looking at. I just saw these insanely bizarre videos and told my friends and family about them, truly believing that they were real. And trust me when I say, some of them were insanely crazy. I mean, Donald Trump and Joe Biden vacationing together? Trust me, I wish I did not see that one. And don't worry, I did spare you from the song that came with it. Jokes aside, I would also come across these ads that would look a bit off, but I would never think too much of it. It wasn't until one day when I saw a news report about deepfake technology that I finally understood what was happening. When I saw this news report, I got really interested in the topic. I started researching and I learned a lot. I learned how advanced and widespread the technology had become, and also how easy it was to deceive people and manipulate reality itself. And one other thing I'd like to point out is a little knowledge people have about this topic. After all, I myself didn't know much of it until recently. And that's what makes deepfakes so powerful. When people don't know about it, it's very easy to trick them. Now, I want you to take a look at these videos I made with a simple Google search. A co jeśli powiedziałbym ci, że wszystko, co widzisz w internecie, może być kłamstwem? Że głos, który teraz słyszysz, twarz na twoim ekranie, mogą wcale nie być prawdziwe? It seems pretty harmless, right? That's what I thought at first, too. But the issue was that with a simple click, I was able to make myself say stuff in Polish and Mandarin, two languages I don't know how to speak a single word in. And if I was able to do this with a simple Google search, imagine what somebody could do with a lot of time and effort. It's a scary thought. Deepfakes are no longer a futuristic threat. They're here, they're spreading faster than ever, and they're extremely easy to create. Anyone can generate a hyperrealistic video of a world leader declaring war, a CEO announcing a stock crash, or even a loved one begging for help in a desperate voicemail. It started off with funny celebrity videos and face-swapping apps. But today, deepfakes are being weaponized. Scammers use them to impersonate CEOs so they can steal millions of dollars. Political videos are created to spread misinformation and influence public opinion. In some of the worst cases, deepfakes can be used for harassment and blackmail. And I'd also like to point out how it can be used in the court scene when criminals claim real video evidence is false and is deepfakes, making visual proof insignificant. While there are some negatives, I will admit that there are a bunch of benefits. Deepfakes can be used by journalists in countries like Venezuela to speak out without risking their lives. It also opens up a lot of new possibilities, especially in entertainment and media. And one of the main benefits that I'd like to focus on is the improvement in accessibility. It allows those with speech impairments to regain their voices. The only issue with these deepfakes is it's hard to mitigate and prevent the bad effects. If something 
so powerful, can have so many good uses, it's just as easy to have bad ones. Now, I wanted to see how easy it would be to trick someone. So I showed them these two images. One is a deep fake, and one is a real image. I asked them the question, which one do you think is real? Now, take some time for yourself and think about it. The results were pretty shocking. 66.7% of people picked image one, and that was the deep fake. Only 33.3% of people were able to pick the actual image. If with just a simple deep fake, I could trick the majority of people, imagine what someone with advanced technology could do to trick and manipulate public perception. And what's worse, there is no solution. Detection tools exist, but they simply can't keep up. AI is growing stronger and stronger every single day. And like I mentioned earlier, when people start to see videos of breaking news, war crimes, and political speeches, they might start to doubt it, saying, oh, it's probably just a deep fake. The result, a world without truth, where even reality itself is up for debate. So if we can't, what happens next? If we can't stop deep fakes, how do we ever live in a world where we can't trust our own eyes. After all, this isn't just a tech issue, it's a human issue. Everyone is always worried that AI will take over all the tech fields. No one really considered the creative fields, but I'm afraid deepfakes have made this possible. Are we going to continue living in a world where everything is fabricated and nothing is authentic? Where we just scroll, 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 and only see AI? Or will we draw the line before reality becomes another illusion? There is hope. By spreading awareness, pushing for change, developing regulations, we can make a difference. I myself have tried to take a step forward and think of ways I can contribute to the solution. Using my programming knowledge, I thought of a way I could code a program that uses visual inconsistencies, unnatural audio patterns, blockchain verification, and frame-by-frame -frame analysis all powered by a constantly updated database. While this is just a starting point and a personal goal of mine, it proves that solutions are possible. If we work together and keep pushing for change, we can make a difference. Deepfakes are powerful, but conversations like this are even more powerful. I'd like you to, th you to think about this when you go home. Thank you.